My name is Nicholas Harris, and this is my place in Canadian history. My story starts with my great-grandfather, James Harris. My great-grandfather was born on December 26, 1912 in Athens, Greece. At the age of 20, my great-grandfather lived through the Great Depression in Greece. The Greek economy greatly depended on foreign trade, but as a result of the Depression, the Greek economy crashed, leaving many Greek citizens, along with my great-grandfather, jobless. Looking for a stable economy and a better job opportunity, my great-grandfather immigrated to Canada after the Great Depression. In Canada, the immigration officer changed my great-grandfather's surname from Herakis to Harris because he deemed it hard to pronounce. In Canada, he worked at a ginger-picking farm until World War II when he was needed in an ammunition factory. During the start of World War II, factory employees were needed to make munitions for the war effort. Just recently, he got many letters from very powerful people in recognition of his 100th birthday last Boxing Day. The Mayor of Sarnia, the Prime Minister of Canada, the Governor General, and the Premier of Ontario all gave him letters, but none, but the only one he cherished was from the Queen. My great grandfather had two children with his wife Patricia. On April 29, 1939, my grandfather, David Harris, was born. He grew up during the wartime era, which meant living on food rations and in constant contact with government propaganda. He told me of the struggles with the amount of food the government was allowing their family to receive and how they had to solve this by having to start a garden to make extra food. He also told me that they were great friends with their neighbor and would give their family additional food from their rations if they required it. He later found my grandmother, Nancy Neal. My grandmother was born on April 1st, 1942. She is a remarkable woman as she has shown selfless acts throughout her many years. For example, every year around Christmas time, my grandmother donates boxes filled with gifts that would be sent to less fortunate children. In doing these acts of kindness, she represents Canada in a good way. She studied and worked as a nurse for over 20 years. A few years ago, the government decided to gather a bunch of experienced nurses and send them overseas for four years to teach nursing in a third world country of Malawi. My grandmother's father, Roy Neald, was born on May 15, 1922. He came to Canada as a kid from England.
His family immigrated to Canada because his parents had some close friends that came years sooner and they kept in touch with postcards. He grew up in Sarnia, Ontario and later opened a small engine repair shop before the Second World War. He was influenced by propaganda to help war efforts and quickly enlisted to become a naval engineer stationed in Halifax during World War II. Shortly after the war ended, the Halifax riots started, while my grandfather was still in Halifax. My grandfather witnessed and may have been taken part in the group of Canadian citizens and soldiers that rioted in Halifax that were under the influence of alcohol. Unfortunately, a few months before my birth, he died from natural causes, so I never got to meet the man my grandmother speaks so highly of. Of the two children my grandmother gave birth to, my father was one of them. My father, Michael Harris, was born on November 14, 1963 in the Scarborough Central Centennial Hospital. My dad was born late in the baby boom generation, resulting in his life becoming altered. My father speaks of how he grew up with many kids from around the same age as him in the small city of Bradford, Ontario. He also had much larger classes, making the quality of learning poor as a result of such a big class. This affected my dad by having him fail grade 1. Without, without this event happening in his life, he would have never met my mom who was a few years younger than him. On August 13th, 1988, my father married Wendy Harris at the young age of 24. My mom, Wendy Harris was born on December 10, 1966. My mom had me a couple of years after her marriage. On April 28th, 1996, I was born in Kitchener-Waterloo General Hospital at 10.40 p.m. I was the first of three children that my parents had. I lived in Kitchener for about two years before moving to Maple. In Maple, I attended Joseph A. Gibson Public School where I excelled in athletics and academics. Having set many athletic records and having good grades, I enrolled to Bill Crothers Secondary School but decided to focus more on academics. What I will contribute to Canadian history is uncertain, but what is certain is that I will make my ancestors proud by making a positive contribution to Canadian history.